Bitcoin is not digital gold. And in this video, I'm going to show you why Ray Dalio was right. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin. It is hot right now. Everyone's talking about it, even those in our precious metal stacking community. People want in. There's FOMO raging over what Bitcoin has done recently. We're going to get into that in just a bit. But first, I wanted to reflect on a few tweets by Ray Dalio, someone who I really respect, a man who knows how to make money for decades. His first question was about the uh, use case for the current crop of crypto that we have now as a medium of exchange. And he really wanted people to, you know, educate him on it, show him that he's wrong in his perspective. I think he's right, frankly. I think that the use case uh, for Bitcoin as a medium of exchange is dead. The costs for uh, transactions with Bitcoin versus, say, using my credit card is ridiculous. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to hear in the comments, what about PayPal, Yankee? All right, that's, that's a big one, right? PayPal recently announced that they would uh, take cryptocurrencies. But there is a big, big difference between buying something with Bitcoin and buying something priced in Bitcoin. The former is done more and more. I get that. We, you know, PayPal is trumpeting that we do crypto. Mm -hmm. But what does that really mean? They want to get in on the hype. But PayPal isn't stupid. Okay, they understand it is a swap between it and in the U.S. case, the dollar. Okay, they know the risks. They understand the volatility. They put warnings right there if you want to read them. People, this is just another company covering their bases. But as a medium of exchange? No. No, nothing on, say, eBay is priced in crypto. Nothing. And yeah, this is a very important point. Items are being priced in dollars. And if you want to use your Bitcoin wallet, to buy some goods or services, it must first be converted to dollars or, or other national currency, depending on where you live. And it has to be done before you can buy them. Again, I have yet to see any serious company price any of their goods or services in crypto. It's simply far too volatile, people. Businesses are not going to take that kind of a risk. They could, they could price a car in a fraction of a Bitcoin and then the next day lose their shirt. This use case is a failure for current crypto. And again, before you say Yankee, that applies to this stuff too, gold. And, you know, you're right, it does. So what? I'm not stacking this stuff as a medium of exchange, at least not this side of a complete and utter fiat dollar collapse and an SHTF scenario, okay? That's why I'm a prepper and a prepper stacker. And when the collapse has passed, you ain't gonna buy any of my supplies with some intangible asset on your mobile phone, I can guarantee you that. I'm gonna want tangible assets. Okay, so that's point number one, and I think Ray Dalio is spot on right. For a second point, Ray talks about uh, crypto, Bitcoin, as a store of value. Now, this is where I think the hodlers of Bitcoin finally figured out their use case. Baloney. How could Bitcoin proponents possibly claim with a straight face that some newly birthed technology is a store of value? Really? It has absolutely no track record, people. Gold has over 5,000 years of history backing that claim. There is absolutely not a single central bank on the planet that would ever consider 
the volatile Bitcoin as a place to store their wealth. No way. Gold? Oh, yeah. Central banks everywhere know that this stuff is a store of value. They stack it. Not because it's some you know lame tradition, okay? Mm-mm. No, because it is real money. It's tangible. And yes, I'm going to say it. It has intrinsic value. All right, enough said. Dalio's right again. But his third point is actually really interesting. And I think he's slightly wrong in what he says. He, he talks about the ability of you know governments to ban it, make it illegal. And you know what? They could. Governments, banksters, <laughs> they will certainly not let some competing virtual asset destroy their fiat currencies without all-out war. This whole you know, power to the people, Bitcoin is freedom mantra, it is fantasy, folks. The powers that be will never let that happen. The only reason current crypto is even allowed to have its little, you know, day in the sun, you know, a little party going on here is because they have a global adoption of less than 5%. <laughs> That's it. They are aware of the potential threat that's there with crypto. And here's where I think Ray gets it wrong. Governments are able to make it illegal. In other words, they could block and ban it. And I, I'm, I'm going to get comments on this. I know, I know. No, they can't, Yankee. It's distributed. It's impossible. They can't stop, stop it. <laughs> no, they can. I, I'm a cybersecurity specialist with over 30 five years of IT expertise and secret government clearance. I can tell you right now, they could block and ban it if they wanted to, but they won't. They don't need to go there. They don't have to, okay? They will simply make it irrelevant. How, you may ask? With central bank digital currencies or CBDCs, that's how. You know, CBDCs are not cryptocurrencies. They are, in fact, the very antithesis of crypto. You know, many Bitcoin barkers love to think that CBDCs are an obvious testament to the success of cryptocurrencies. And they think it's going to bring greater interest and adoption. Think again. CBDCs will quickly and effectively compete and ultimately destroy current crypto. At least that's my opinion. Central banks want nothing to do with bringing Bitcoin into the fold. Uh Uh-uh. In fact, opposition to crypto is the whole reason why CBDCs will soon exist. Ray Dalio is right about the threat that is rising. Okay, it probably started with the um, uh, announcement of uh, Facebook's Libra. But they won't need to make it illegal. When central banks can deposit what passes for real money directly into the digital wallet of the masses, and I'm talking billions of people now, they won't care one iota about Bitcoin. Trust me. And it will be completely obsolete. I'm going to tell you right now something you probably already know, and that is the masses, they're sheeple, folks. When it comes to free money, CBDCs will win. Don't misunderstand me. I don't want central banks to win. I don't want another, you know, fiat-based digital currency that, you know, destroys all the cash and, 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 and takes away our privacy with tracking and tracing of our purchases. No way. I don't want that. I can understand the, the, the excitement around crypto. I can. But let's forget the philosophizing just for a minute, okay? Let's, let's stop fantasizing about how Bitcoin is somehow going to help us stick it to the man right? Escape the constraints of a a broken financial system. How it's going to empower individuals with financial autonomy. No, 
it's not going to do it. So what is current crypto good for? I'll tell you what it's good for. Gambling. That's what. It's a speculative asset in search of a use case. Oh, no, 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 Yankee. Uh -uh. The hype is over, right? It's weathered the classic boom-bust cycle. Yeah, okay. It did somewhat. You know, and it is a little unique that it's coming back for a second round of boom and bust. In my opinion, it is. If you want to walk into the crypto casino and try to make a pile of money by betting that you can let it ride and eventually sell it to, in my opinion, a greater fool, then have at it. Okay, I know that the FOMO is huge. The draw is great. But this mother of all bubbles is going to eventually pop. And in my opinion, a whole new generation of investing neophytes are going to learn a big lesson. Now, again, this is my opinion. I'm no financial expert. I know I'm going to get a pile of comments down there, okay? And I welcome it. Please, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about Ray Dalio's uh, tweets and my responses. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope your day is a okay.